for the entrance let us sing the hymn as we gather hymn number a 119 page 54 yes we can to you all my dear friends good morning father today's mass we offer for our departed brethren paulin vaz so also we offer this mass for our departed brethren francis and piedad fernandez and for all the souls of fernandez family in a very special way today we pray for vincent de souza who celebrates his 50th birthday a dear friend vincent is come from kalangut and he will be with us during this day as he celebrates his 50th birthday let us thank god for his gift of life and as we thank god for his gift of life we also pray for his family let us offer before our god all our prayers and petitions we pray for those who are sick who are suffering who are struggling in life because of any problems all those who are struggling in their families due to various difficulties challenges all those who are struggling in hospitals let us pray for each one of us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters obedience before god abiding with his will abiding with his law discerning his will is very important for each one of us as christians as his followers and we as easter people the people of jesus's resurrection we ought to live by the obedience in the will of the father just like jesus lived his life his ministry on this earth by obeying and abiding with the will of the father in this eucharistic celebration as we partake let us reflect on our life for the times when we have failed to obey the father in our day to day life and for the times when we have been able to obey and abide with the will of the father let us thank the lord and for the times when we have failed to do so let us ask pardon from the lord and ask for forgiveness when we have failed to be faithful to his commandments 
when we have failed to discern his will in our life. Altogether, I confess, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice to be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ, a high priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, when the officers had brought the apostles, they set them before the council. And the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charge you not to teach in this name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching. And you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The Lord of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they hear, heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The lowly, the lowly one, one called, called and, and the, the Lord, Lord heard, heard him. him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Response, the, the lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. Response, the, the lowly one called, and, and the Lord heard him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. Response, the, the lowly one, one called, and, and the Lord heard, heard him. him. Kindly stand for the gospel.
Have you believed, Thomas, because you have seen me? Says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of this earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God. For he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not believe or does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, obedience for us is a virtue. But obedience of God or being obedient to God is a much greater or we can say the greatest virtue. In the Bible, if we see in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament, many of the stalwarts of faith like Abraham, Moses, so many of them. In the New Testament also we will find so many who have been obedient to God. Definitely in the New Testament through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is the epitome or the source and summit of obedience. When Jesus is exercising his ministry, in his ministry every moment is in obedience or in sync with God, with the will of God. And therefore, the Adam who was disobedient to God in the Old Testament, in the Genesis, in the beginning, the new Adam that is Jesus Christ is obedient to God. So therefore, he is a role model for each one of us to be obedient to God. In today's first reading, taken from the Acts of the Apostles, these days the readings are telling us or narrating us the incidents that are happening after the re resurrection of Jesus Christ, how the Apostles, that is Peter and John, are working wonders in the name of Jesus. Now the scribes, the Pharisees, the elders had told them, do not proclaim in the name of Jesus. Do not do these all wonders in the name of Jesus. Stop doing that. And still they continued. So they were disobedient to the authorities, the earthly authorities, but they were obedient to the heavenly authority and that is God. So when they are called before the council, the Sanhedrin, that is the 72 elders, the council would consist of 72 members. And when they were before the Sanhedrin, before the council, they asked them the question, we had told you, do not proclaim in the name of Jesus. And still you did that. What have you to say? And the apostles, they say, Peter especially, he answers, we must obey God rather than man. 
so peter wants to be obedient to god and not to the dictates of man because he knows that this is coming from an earthly power whereas what they are supposed to do what jesus has called them to do is coming from a heavenly power and in the same way in the gospel we find the testimony of john the baptist now we are still in the third chapter of john where john the baptist now after nicodemus having gone to jesus and found the answer he goes back happy and now john the baptist is testifying for jesus and he says he who comes from above is above all so the one who comes from above that is our lord jesus christ he has the authority because he is the son of god and we have to obey the son of god the focus of the third chapter in the gospel of according to john is on we have to be born from above reborn in the spirit speaking about our baptism my dear friends we are all baptized catholics and being born in the spirit is being obedient to the father and therefore obedience to god to jesus christ must be our focus our main aim in our christian life and if we are going to live a christian life that is pleasing to god we have to obey to all his commandments we have to be obedient to god abiding with his will every moment of our life you have come for the eucharistic celebration maybe you are partaking in this eucharist online this is the will of god for you at this moment this is you being obedient to god by partaking in this holy mysteries in this sacred mysteries and that is the real presence of jesus in the body and blood of his our lord jesus christ so therefore in our day to day life we are all called today to be obedient to him to be obedient to his will whatever he says whatever he tells us through the word of god we ought to put it to practice in our life and then we can say that we are living by the spirit that we are born in the spirit and therefore we can say that we are happy christians abiding with his will in our day to day life just as the apostles no matter what circumstances they had to face they were faithful to god and not to an earthly power because the earthly power is only on this earth but the power that comes from above that is of our lord jesus christ of our loving father a merciful god is what remains for eternity the earthly power will come it will go so let us be christians who cling on to the heavenly power yes the earthly power is important for us but let us not cling on to the earthly power but cling on to the heavenly power and to live such a life that abides with the power that comes from above let us ask the lord's grace for us in this eucharistic celebration for the offertory let us sing lord accept this bread and wine hymn number b23 page 73 
brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church may our prayers rise up to you o lord together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover who has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the, to life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unhending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim we your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but to loving mercy be for me, protection in my own body. Behold the Lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. This is our Saviour Jesus Christ, the bread that came down from heaven and who died for us and rose from the dead to gain victory for us. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For communion, let us all join in singing, O Lord, I am not worthy, hymn number D49, page 121. <laughs>
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us sing the hymn, Go, the Mass is ended. Hymn number X19, page 359. 